Hi, this is Brad Carlton. Welcome to my course entitled The Complete Guide to Boogie Woogie. This will involve things from absolute beginner ground floor entry level boogie woogie all the way to some rather advanced and technically demanding exercises and lines. You're going to learn the theory, you're going to learn some different rhythmic approaches, techniques as far as how to pick, how to finger things, and also how to approach things from a textual standpoint so when you apply the boogie woogie you'll get more mileage out of it, especially when you have to play in a band context. I hope you enjoy this. Let's look at the three forms of the boogie woogie, which are in the keys of E, A, and D. These reside in the second position, but we're going to call them open position because they involve the open low E, A, or D strings as the root. Our first form would be six string open for the root, the E, and then your first finger is on the fifth, the B note. Your third finger is going to play C sharp, the sixth. Your fourth finger is going to play D, the flat seven. Make sure you memorize these scale degrees with the letter names. The letter names are key specific. The numbers are non-key specific. Make sure you approach it from a standpoint of having your hand already in position. I don't recommend you come in from the left because then you'd have to adjust your hand when you wanted to access the 6 and the flat 7. That means that your first finger won't be upright. You'll be on the pad of your finger instead of like that. That also serves to eliminate strain on your wrist and you'll dampen the higher strings with your index finger. So step one is just to touch the notes and make sure your bullseye is just to the left of the fret. That way you're guaranteed of a clear note. You're going to strum the two strings together. That's root and fifth, root and sixth, root and flat seven. Notice how you do not pick up your first and your third fingers as you ascend up the neck. And remember, ascending in terms of pitch means left to right. Now let's put a rhythm to that. We can do a shuffle rhythm. You hear how it's loping, a little faster tempo. Straight eights. Now it sounds a little bit uncool. It isn't really happening yet, and we're going to talk about why in some future lessons. But that would be the E boogie woogie. You could also practice it articulating each note. Now we were letting both strings ring together. I also recommend you play it like this. Watch my picking hand. That way you synchronize your fingers with the pick and make sure it's legato. Each note rings right up to the next note. Now apply all those technical approaches to the A boogie woogie. You simply move the pattern over one string, and I would term it up a pitch, because you're actually going up in pitch when you move toward the floor from the sixth string to the first string. So you simply move over. You're going to play just the fifth and the fourth strings, and then we go through the same process. Nothing's different, just on a different string group. Or articulate. For now, at a slow tempo, just use all downstrokes. As you get faster, you might alternate pick down on the fifth string, up on the fourth. And then we simply move it over one more string group for the D boogie woogie. And you can try approaching it with a palm on any of the. Lightly touch the strings where they pass over the saddle on the bridge and find just that sweet spot. That helps control a lot of rattle and it fattens up the sound, makes it fit really well in the mix. Reference figures 1, 2, and 3 for the E, A, and D boogie-woogie patterns respectively.